Welcome to Essential RC, I'm Al, and today I'm looking at the Eshim E150 that our friends at Banggood sent us, so thanks for that Banggood. This is the bind and fly version, I'll be setting up my Radio Master TX16S using the Futaba protocol to control this. I am not a heli pilot, so it's going to be a, a, a heck of a flight test when we get there, so uh, do stay on for that, because... Uh, I'll be bouncing it off things, I'm sure. So let's see what the box tells us. Uh, it tells us it's got a stabilization system, 14 plus, pretty standard. Uh, dimensions, uh, length of 330, rotor diameter 355, uh, height of 98 mil. Uh, it shows us the, uh, the collective pitch um, there. It's got some tick marks so you can check um, when you're at uh, mid throttle stick for zero pitch. Um, direct drive which is quite nice on both the uh, main uh, rotor and also on the tail rotor, both brushless motors. Got a carbon tail beam shown there. They're also just telling us that um, it's got six channel 3D performance. Uh, I won't be testing out the 3D performance if I can just Hover it, I'll be delighted. Uh, let's have a look, see what's in the box. Oh, has it got flying weight under there? Uh, no, it tells us that, oh no, it does. Uh, product weight 181 grams, uh, 12 kilometers an hour. It can go faster than, and uh, each battery it says will last about seven to nine minutes. Uh, so I'll report on that uh, when we get it flying. Use the manual. We've got a bag, some spare blades, which I'm sure I use. Uh, there is a spare tail uh, rotor there as well. A Phillips uh, or a Posi and a, uh, an, an Allen key uh, with the charger in the bag. Standard key form, holding it all down. Just a couple of spare batteries. And there now the batteries I think I think are three cell yeah three cell five hundred milliamp hour uh, got an XT thirty on the end plus a balance plug so there's two spare ones in there one already mounted in the heli so the heli nice bright colours. Keep it easy to see, which is great. Um, looks like all aluminium head there. Uh, as I said before, we've got the brushless direct drive tail rotor. Let's just pop this off, see what there is to see. Uh, okay, so carbon, carbon frame, carbon boom. Uh, we've got the three servos mounted to control the swash plate there and a control box with the ability for an s bus receiver and a dsmx receiver to go on uh, should you wish uh, and then it is just push fit for the batteries so if you are going to want to get additional batteries, you need to make sure that they fit in that slot because that literally is push fit. Uh, plastic landing gear, nice and flexible because I'll be bouncing it around. And then a plastic protector uh, at the rear, stop me striking the, uh, the tail rotor. Nice. Okay, well, I'll get it charged up. We'll see how it goes. So Al, thanks for that lovely introduction on the E150. Uh, so here we are, down on a little um, bit of land, nobody around. Safety always a primary concern, especially when you're flying helicopters for the first time. Exactly. Even more so. <laughs> so uh, tell me about this, what are we going to do? Right, so uh, this, this is a collective pitch helicopter, which means that it's actually capable of flying upside down uh, by by twisting the blades uh, uh, the, the right way. Uh, I'm not capable of that, Dom. You've just mentioned in, in that intro there that, that I really am a noob to, uh, to helis. And, and if I was making a real confession, 
haven't really flown them at all. Multi-rotor is not a problem, but this has got a couple of modes. You don't have to fly it inverted and, and uh, smash it around the sky. It's got a 6G mode where it helps stabilise the flight for you and allegedly an idiot like me can just pootle it around uh, quite safely and easily. So Yashin are quite good at doing this with all their products, aren't they? Like the some of the stuff we were flying a couple of weeks ago, it has beginner, mid and expert mode. So this is virtually the same, right? 6G mode is beginner mode. Exactly. Absolutely fantastic. Right, okay, so uh, show us how you fly in beginner <laughs> mode then. I'm looking forward to this. I'll put it tail in so I know which way it's going. Active. Right, so what have you done there? So that just spools up. You flicked a switch, did you? Yeah, I've got a kill switch, absolutely essential with these. So if you get into difficulty, I can hit the kill switch. And it just it just kills it. So if you okay. get into any kind of danger or difficulty, kill that's it. That's a must do. Absolute okay. must. So that, that just picks up the uh, the head speed and puts a little bit of collective uh, uh, pitch in. And the manual gives you full details of your throttle curve and your pitch curve that you need to program into your controller. We got the version without the controller. If you get the version with the controller, that's all programmed in for you. Yeah. But it was pretty simple to program. As I say, I'm a complete noob to programming collective pitch. You that set is. it up in OpenTX on your... Exactly. TX. I've got a 16S. That's right. So Our um, favourite transmitter, yeah. So this is now literally just wanting to take off. So a, a flip on the throttle and it will be airborne. Um, and let's, let's see. All right. I mean, you can see that's just, just sitting. We've got a bit of a breeze here today, and it's not really, it's not really affecting it, is it? No, and it's across us, isn't it? It's from across, our right. Yeah, yeah so crosswind. Fly it to the left. Um, so you're not compensating for that, are you? I've got a tiny, tiny bit of ride right in, but, but really not much at all. So you'll have to excuse me. I need to tweak the um, throttle and pitch curves. Yeah, yeah. But um, as I say, it's, uh, I'm a complete noob here. Yeah, but you haven't crashed it. You've taken off and you're flying around and you've, like me, you have practically zero heli flying experience. So it's good to show the viewers that it, once you've set it up on OpenTX or your preferred radio, then you can just cruise around. So, <laughs> before we do crash it, do you want me to show you how much stick it's got? Because I, I'm, I'm barely touching the throttle. Yeah, yeah. If I go full tilt up, are you ready? Yeah. Two, Three, two, one. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Quite a lot of power then. Huge amount of power. I mean, that, that's pretty much full. So you're power. being very gentle on the uh, left stick then? Very. I'm barely, barely touching it. And as I say, if you're a competent pilot, you'll be literally throwing this around uh, with no problem at all. Okay, I'm just wanting to take it a bit easy. So we've got something to show your subscribers. Yeah, well it's a gentle first flight. That's not a problem. And what we can do is see if we can convince Jason to come out with this. Uh... Yeah, yeah, so we'll do another video where Jason's probably our main heli guy. Carl flies helis as well, but he can fly in full collective pitch mode. And turn it into a toothpick for you. <laughs> no, he, he flies inverted and. One minute. So that timer, that reminds me. So I had a little fly yesterday, I must admit, this isn't the first time I've played it. I wanted to make sure that actually the controller controlled it properly yesterday before we came out today. I had about a 10 minute poodle around like this, Dom, and I put 367 milliamps back into a, five, a 500 milliamp hour battery. So that's nearly as much as you would want to do. Um, you wouldn't want to put any more. Than and you flew for how long? That was 10 30, minutes. Oh, wow. Well, that's, that's pretty good. 28, 27, 26, 25, 24. 23, 22, 21. I mean, I wouldn't want to concentrate 19, for 10 minutes on a single 18, flight, to be honest. 17, so that's two flights, really, in one. Right, you want to bring it in for a landing now? Well, 
Oh, and he stays upright. Yeah. Nice one. That was all right. Well, I mean, actually, you've got to blind me that it's 10, 15 mile an hour wind. It's, uh, it's got my heart going, as I say, with something, anything new, uh, and you say the concentration, it's uh, yeah, brilliant. Really enjoyed that. And, and the more you fly, obviously, the more confident you get. Um, and the more you can change your settings on your radio to adapt to your flying style in your skill level right absolutely and i only had that on on mid rates aileron you know pitch and, and your control um so uh, uh, as i say you go from your 6g mode and then flip it into your full collective pitch and, and 3d mode as well uh, when, okay when you get there. that's brilliant okay thanks that, i mean that's great for a first flight we don't need to do any more than that you're going to go away and you're going to fly it a bit more maybe we can do another another video in two or three weeks time and see how you've progressed on your journey and learning how to fly RC helicopters. There's a challenge, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, thanks Al. If you've enjoyed this folks then uh, please uh, subscribe, click the bell icon for notifications of uh, future update, uploads and live streams. But uh, the link for this is in the video description and pinned comment should you want to look up the price and buy it. But otherwise uh, thanks again Al. Cheers. Cheers. We'll see you next time folks. Bye. So, <laughs> before we do crash it do you want me to show you how much stick it's got? Because I'm, I'm barely touching the throttle. Yeah, yeah. If I go full tilt up, are you ready? Yeah. Two, Three, two, one. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Quite a lot of power then. Huge amount of power. I mean, that's, that's pretty much full. So you're throttle. being very gentle on the uh, left stick then?